Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be making the yoke for my cedar strip canoe. The yoke is a brace that goes across the middle of the canoe at the shear line. It adds some structural stability to the boat, and if your canoe's light enough, you can also use it to carry it on your shoulders. The most recognizable kind of yoke is probably the type you see on an ox. Canoe yokes are pretty much the same concept, but instead of pulling a wagon or something, you're carrying a boat on top of your head. I cut an ash board a couple inches longer than the width of the canoe. I tried to get a board that has a grain pattern that matches the curve of a yoke. One of the main concerns when you're making a yoke is keeping the symmetry. A lot of times when I'm cutting things that need to be symmetrical, I'll draw a grid out on the board first so I can reference the sketch of one side against the other side before I cut it. I sketch it out a couple times and adjust some of the curves before I get a shape I'm happy with. Then I use a jigsaw to cut it out. After it's cut, the first thing I do to shape it is round all the edges with the router. From there, I use a rasp to shape it into a rough version of what I want. As I'm shaping it, I fit it on my shoulders every once in a while so I can customize the fit exactly to my body. You'll notice that I keep the grid drawn on as I'm shaping, and I even redraw it every once in a while to make sure I'm taking equal amounts of wood off of each side. Once I'm happy with the rough shape, I orbital sand the marks out with 40 grit, then sand to 80, then sand to 120. This is not a drill. Now it's all shaped and sanded, so I'm ready to cut it to length. I'm going to want to balance the canoe on my back with a slight tilt up on the front, so I'm going to mount it a couple inches forward from the center. I mark where I want to put it, cut the yoke to length, drill two holes through each inner gunnel, and then put the matching holes on the yoke. I'm going to use brass for all the exposed hardware on the boat. After it's installed, you should be able to lift it on your shoulders and walk around. Thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. You can click this little circle right here to subscribe to my channel, and then you can click this little box down there to watch more of my videos. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.